Uh, we're heading out this afternoon. Going to go and see a um, The Harold Fry one. I think it's the unintentional journey of Harold Fry or something like that. Anyway, um, Andrew just read the book recently. I read it a few years ago, and he really wants to go and see it. So we're going to go and see. But I want to get organised with dinner so that when we come back, because um, we're a three thirty movie, it's finished at five thirty. You know, I'll have to finish off dinner, but at least I'll um, be have a bit of a head start on it. But um, so what I'm doing is I'm making meatballs. I'm making one of the new recipes from the um, layered um, cooking collection on Cookie Do that came out beginning of the week, beginning of last week, a week ago. <laughs> um, it's the chicken meatballs in smoky tomato and eggplant sauce. And that was the one that really got my attention, I have to say. So, but part of what I've got to do is um, I made the hug and a mug chicken soup a few days ago. Uh, I did buy some minced chicken, but this course was 750 grams and I had to use some, I had a big thing of chicken breasts and I had to use some in the um, hug and a mug and I had some left over. So I thought what I'll do is my chicken mince was 500 grams. I need 750 grams. I've probably got a bit more than that actually to tell you the truth. But um, what, what I'm gonna do is show you how to mince your meat. Uh, so I'm gonna just start the recipe so we can go back into it and um, get going. So I'm just gonna go start cooking. And from there, I'm gonna save the recipe. Going to the home page. now that's saved up there. Here's my chicken, I haven't actually weighed it, so we'll have a bit of a look. Um, but what I've done, I meant to just put it in there for half an hour and I totally forgot the other day and froze it. So it's been sitting out for a while, defrosting. So I've been able to pull it apart into chunks, but you can see it's there, it's partially. So the reason why it's better to mince when it's partially frozen is it's easier for the blades to get through it when it's a bit firmer. All right, I'm gonna weigh it, see how much there actually is. There we go. Well, it's definitely more than the 250 grams I needed. Pop my lid on. And mincing meat, it is seven seconds on speed. Seven. Seven seconds. All right, I'll show you what that looks like. There you go, minced chicken. Excuse me one second. So there it is, chicken mince in seven seconds. Pretty cool, isn't it? No added extras in that, it is just the mince. Now I'm actually gonna leave it in that bowl I'm going to pull out my other bowl to keep going with this recipe. Great reason to have two bowls. Um, two. All right. Back into our recipe. Now, it's asked me to have one zucchini cut into pieces. So here we go. I'm always a bit lazy when it comes to kids. We're going to the... Zucchini is going into the meatballs, so I'm still going to use this lid rather than wash another lid. 10 seconds, speed four. Now it's asking me to put it into the simmering basket and allow to drain in the sink. Well, I'm gonna drain it into a bowl because of course, what's the point of throwing that out, that juice out? So there it is all chopped up. So I'm gonna pop it into the simmering basket here. Always scraping down first. And then it asks you to use the spatula just to press it down and make sure you get as much juice out as possible. I don't think there's a whole heap of juice in this actually, but um, let's just push and just see anything. 
really comes out. Uh, nothing's coming out of it. But if it was, you'd drain it into the bowl and you'd keep it, all right? Anyway, I'll let that sit over there. Four spring onions, two garlic cloves. Um, I've got coriander and mint. Okay, so that's everything there. That's the coriander, the mint, the, it smells amazing, the spring onions and the garlic clove. I just did one garlic clove because it's a seriously big garlic clove. Three seconds speed. It says speed five, but it's actually got seven round here. interesting but uh, I do know for me a garlic clove three seconds speed seven so that's why I went with seven ask me to scrape down the sides again tell you what that smells absolutely incredible I think it's the mint the mint is just gorgeous now I need my chicken mint so I'm going to put the chicken mints from here in. I'm going to put all of it in. I'm going to put the rest in too. So this is another another packet of um, mints. So I've obviously got more than it says in there. The reserve zucchini, which has not drained at all. Look, totally clean on the bottom. Okay. One egg. Okay, one teaspoon of ground cumin. A little tiny bit more because we've got that whole chicken in there. Yeah, um, quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder. Now, this is hot chili powder, okay? So, I'm going to put a tiny weeny bit in like that. Salt, Sip my salt there, pepper. Twenty seconds, and it's going to need for twenty seconds. Now, um, remember I had extra mints in there, so I can see some of it's not all mixed up. I'm going to actually go back and do that for a little bit longer. Tidy up on the way. Have another look at this. Better. See, it's a bit more mixed in. So, transfer to a bowl, set aside, clean and dry mixing bowl. Okay. All right. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go into the recipe here.
Okay. So it makes the sauce, and whilst it's cooking the sauce for five minutes, it tells you to make the meatballs. But since I'm going out, I'm not going to be making the sauce till later, so I'm going to use this to make my meatballs. I'll just make a couple. Okay. It's a good idea to wet your hands. But um, using a little um, thing like this gives you a bit of an idea so you get the same sort of size. Um, it is quite a wet mixture, so it's not actually coming out as well as it can do sometimes, but it's still giving me, you know, a, a guide so I can make similar size meatballs. All right, so that's all I'm doing at the moment. Uh, let me just wash this hand. So I'm just going to, I've made, hang on, put this down here so you can see a bit better. There we are. I've made a few meatballs there and I have all this to make into meatballs and I'm sure you don't want to hang around to see all that. But this is the beginning of the chicken meatballs in the smoky tomato and um, eggplant sauce. So I will prep all the other ingredients before I go out. I've got time and I probably don't have time. Um, anyway, we'll be a little bit organised when it comes to having dinner.